what is prana? Where does it come from? Prana could be described as a particle, like an atom that's physical, but it's had a whole bunch of energy imparted to it from the sun. And it's a mother light energy. It's the mother frequency. It's the mother polarity of things. It's definitely feminine and it's attracted to living beings. And it's an aspect of the Holy Spirit. It's also prana is related to some degree with Kundalini. All life depends on this energy, plants, animals, everything. We breathe it and we also eat it, <laughs> but you can actually take it in other ways too. I think of when I do pranayama, I've done it a lot for a lot of years and the actual substance of prana, these clouds of energy and I'm taking it in. When I'm doing that, I feel as though I'm taking the Divine Mother into my being and I'm getting closer and closer and being a part of the Holy Spirit, being part of God as Mother. And it's something to meditate on because your affinity and your love for this manna, it's kind of like manna from God, really matters and it actually can make this work a lot better. So I always like to, when I'm doing something like this, I like to make sure it's clear, like why would you want to do this? What can you expect from it? In my own experience, I'm practicing pranayama pretty much daily for, gosh, I don't know, 20 to 30 years. I've noticed some definite benefits and they tend to be in two major categories. One of them is overall health. It's just health benefits. Optimum vitality. Vitality is another name I use for prana. If you have more vitality and it's brimming over in all of your etheric structures and everything, you have more energy to do work. You have more energy to think and be creative. It's, by the way, this energy is, I think, related to creativity as well. If you ensure that you have a constant flow of this fresh vitality to all your cells and organs, your body, and you remove stale or damaged energy, and you open up the clogged energy channels, this is something that certain pranayamas can help you do you'll get the optimum fresh energy. Number two, the spiritual benefits. In addition to that, I wrote, you know, it, it harmonizes in enhancing the communication between the physical body and your waking consciousness and with your higher frequency bodies. So, you know, we have these higher bodies, our higher self, and everybody thinks of it generally as being either above them or superimposed over them. And it's higher and higher and higher frequency matter or else when it goes up into the Christic, Buddhic, Atmic, monadic planes, it's really not physical matter at all. It's just pure spirit. I found that if you have a super saturation in your being of prana, it creates a bridge between the sensitivity of these higher frequency bodies and your waking brain consciousness. So you are more aware. Thank you for watching this preview. Click here to enjoy the full class for free. And check out more previews of our Meiru University classes in this playlist.